So we're back with the prototype. Actually, it's called the Wildfire 4-in-1 Grill. The grill is now on Kickstarter, so you can go to, go to the link below and back it on Kickstarter right now. But this video is gonna be all about how this grill actually works. So I'm gonna show you the inner workings, some of the stuff I haven't shown you yet about how this grill functions, how it works, how the heat gets up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, how the fire comes out the, the bottom and not get ash on your food, all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you all these pieces and all the things that you get when you back the Wildfire Grill. So first, I'm just gonna start with the base. The base is this guy. So the entire grill sits on this. This is a little dish to hold your pizza stone. And then along with that is a tailgate unit. So this can be turned into a whole tailgate and there's a tailgate package that goes on the back of your car. And this just plops right on it, holds your grill at your tailgate, at your football game, at your campsite, anything, it just sits right on, right on your car, just like we did at the Cleveland Browns tailgate party in that last video. You can watch that, that link will be below too. And then you just take your pizza stone, plop it in there. My pizza stone is filthy, I know, leave me alone. You just take your wildfire four in one and you take it and it just lifts up. It's only 36 pounds, so even a weakling, chubby guy like me can do it. It only weighs 36 pounds. That's one of the best things about this thing. It's 17 inches around, it's in diameter, and it weighs 36 pounds. So it's not like all the grills that are like a couple hundred pounds that once you put them in, in your outdoor kitchen, you ain't moving those. This one, you can move wherever you want. You can take a tailgate with you. That's one of the best things about it is its form factor, which is why I really like it because my outdoor kitchen isn't huge. I've got a big back deck, uh, but I've got a bunch of different grilling tools that I like to use from time to time. And uh, if this doesn't take up a whole lot of room, then there's more room to have guests and to sit places, which is much better because we'd love to do a lot of entertaining here. So uh, then you have your grease trap, which goes underneath here. And this base is solid. It is not plastic. That is a solid piece of metal. And this is stainless steel down here. So this will all last outside. No big deal. Or along with the grill, in the base, you get the front damper, which that's how you can control airflow, which controls the heat level up and down uh, without the blower. Now, another thing is you come back here, and this is how you control the airflow over the coals right here. This blower blows over here with the lid down, keep the damper closed, and that's how the airflow goes right over the coals and then shoots out, and that's when you see those beautiful flames come out. So, so you just turn on your battery pack, and then you can control how much, how fast that fan spins to control your airflow over the coals if you want to cool it down, make it as hot as possible, however you want to do it to control your airflow. Controlling the airflow controls the heat. Just like a Weber kettle grill or any other type of charcoal grill, airflow controls your heat. Now up top, we've got the Asado zone. This is the four in one grill, so it's got four zones. So this just spins out of the way when you're not using it. Set it over there. And then up top, you've got your damper, which controls your warming zone. So you can put your cast iron and it holds up to a 12 inch cast iron skillet, which I love to use my 12 inch cast iron skillet. And then once you have that weight on there to the skillet, you turn the handle and that moves the damper nice and easy. So you can keep your sauces warm. I've even made popcorn up top and it was some of the best popcorn I ever made. And then once we open the lid, this is where the magic happens, if you will. So this grate pops off. Now right here is a stainless steel mesh screen. So mine's a little bit dirty right now, but uh, I use it all the time. You take the, the dead charcoal once you're done cooking the next day, dispose of it, rinse, give it a rinse and throw it right back in and it just connects right onto that hook. Take it. And it sits on the little levels in there. And then you dump your coals. Now this is what a clean, one of those stainless steel mesh guys look like that the coals sit on. So the coals sit on there, heat goes over them, right down into the wild zone and you're cooking all sorts of stuff. Once you have your coals going and hot, close this. Make sure your damper's closed all the way so you don't lose any air up. And then turn on your blower, remove the damper in the front, and that's when you get 
the pizza flame, the pizza oven type flame coming out. And then this section has an additional drip tray, drip tray there and then a rotating grill. So you can just use your tongs or your hot gloves and once you have your pizza stone on here with your pizza, that just turns so you don't need to worry about pulling the pizza out, turning it, putting it back in. Really cool design. Or if you're doing your steaks, then you can just turn them. You don't need to turn them to the side. You can just rotate them like this, flip them, keep rotating them. Rotate, motivate, baby. Now in the wild zone, I've cooked anything from chorizo nachos to pizzas, of course, chicken wings in minutes. Um, I've done oysters Rockefeller, which took literally like 30 seconds and they were perfect. The faster you can cook shellfish, the better. And it's a great way to cook shellfish down below. I've even done blackened salmon. I've started the salmon up top, put it in a cast iron skillet, seasoned the, seasoned the top with, with blackening seasoning from Gordon's Butchered Market, and then throw it right under the flames. And those flames kiss the top of that with the oil and those blackened seasonings and just make that salmon perfect. Absolutely perfect. Steaks, of course, when I do steaks on the wildfire grill, I like to cook them just about almost the whole way, about 120, about 120 degrees to the internal temperature. And then I take them out from the wild zone and throw them right on top of the coals. And then the fire starts to rise and that's when you start using fire as an ingredient and the fire starts to kiss those steaks and the Maillard effect starts to take place and you start getting those beautiful lines and crisp, uh, crisp char marks. And, to me, I love that style of cooking. I love how that tastes. And we've cooked for hundreds of people on this grill and they've all loved it. Wanna cook over a campfire? That's when this guy comes into effect. Just swing that over, place your food right up top. Now I've done Mexican rice up here. I've done steaks, I've done vegetable kebabs. And then you can take your, your wood chunks and throw it in there too on, your, on top of your coals. So you get that nice smoke going right up into your food and it's fantastic. And this guy raises up and down, loosen that. Up, down. You just loosen the thing back here and that raises it up or raises it all the way down. One of the best things about this is when you're cooking over a campfire, one of the hardest things to do is to control your food over that really hot ambient heat that's coming out of your, of your fire pit. But this just swings so that you can control your food right over here without having to worry about burning the crap out of yourself. Then when you're done doing whatever you're doing, whether you're dressing your chicken or putting sauces on things, or you just need to turn things and flip them over, then you just swing it back. And then you're back cooking again. That's how the wildfire grill works. If I've missed anything, please let me know. If you have any additional questions, hit me up down in the comments section, send me a direct message, however you want to do it. Go check out the Wildfire 4-in-1 Grill on Kickstarter. You're going to want to back this. It is a lot of fun to do, and it's not that expensive. Uh, other grills in its class that do charcoal grilling, for one that's like the size of a, like a small dinner plate, you're going to spend almost double that amount for a grill that weighs almost 200 pounds that you can't move. So. Keep that in mind. That's one of the best things about it is the form factor and what you're able to do and how many different things you're able to cook with a wildfire grill. That's why I love it. I was given the opportunity to give it a try and I'm really thankful for that opportunity because it's kind of opened my eyes to a whole new way of cooking and a whole way, new way of doing things, especially for parties and tailgating and campfire. If you're a camper and you love to, to cook on an open fire and you're gonna love this thing. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. So. If you have questions, please hit me up down below, send me a direct message. You can reach me at beerger at beerger.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.